Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to me enjoying Dark Souls 3 a bit more. So, we're in Lothar Castle. Well, High Wall of Lothar Castle. Lothar Castle is way later in the game. We'll get to that eventually. But we're in Lo High Wall of Lothric, just, you know, killing things as you do. And stopping this guy from yelling. Because, you know, it's nice to have it be a bit more peaceful. We don't need to have someone yelling. We don't need to have someone disrupting our fun and enjoyment. I mean, I just disrupted this guy's moping, which I guess is possibly an act of charity. And again, you can try, but no. I'm just going to kill you before you can do anything. So yeah, that's the guy. Actually, that, that was fairly annoying. It's actually one of the simpler challenges, but once, once you get used to it, at least, it's one of the simpler challenges. And, ah, whatever. You just do this. I have magic. I can throw magic in your face. You have a face full of magic and death. Oops. That was not quite what I wanted to do. That was what I wanted to do. And more firebombs, which I don't... Well, I guess I kind of need. There's there's more pusses of man later on. Which, if you're not aware, that is what those giant things... The giant blackness that comes out, like... I think I fought last episode at the very end, where the giant black thing that grew up a guy's back. Yeah, that's called the Puss of Man. I don't know why. It's a bit of an odd name, but that's what it's called. It's, I guess, humanity, but as a kind of autoimmune response to the world. Because I can't imagine why else you'd have pus. Except immunity. Anyway, we have Lightning Pine Resin, which I can't remember why I need. But why not? I think it was something that actually used it, but I don't really recall offhand what it was. Like some... Some enemy that's especially vulnerable to lightning. There's a dragon. They're usually vulnerable to lightning. Not sure if that's really relevant, though. I... Oh, whoops. Ow. Well, whatever. Yeah. Well, that's interesting of you. And that's your death. So yeah, I will uh, just go through here and go down and go past a dragon and then go past some knights and find another bonfire. It's actually kind of complicated. Mostly complicated by the dragon. Because they breathe fire everywhere. And while I did praise the merits of fire, mostly that was in the context of cooking things. And see, that's where the problem lies, is that I don't want to be cooked, per se. Do want this guy to come at me, though. Come on. I cannot kick your shield away. So I need you to come at me. Ow! Hang on, I'm just going to murder your friend. Hope you don't mind. Oh, apparently you do mind. Well, hang on, I'll get back to you. Ow! Wow, you really mind. Okay. I take that as a no. You actually would rather I don't hurt any of your friends. But that's a shame. I'll just get you out of the way first. And then I'll go back to killing your friends. Actually, you know what? I should be able to pass by the drag. Yeah, I got time. Pass by the dragon and the stuff here. It's like, I think, an ember and a club and a claymore. I don't really care all that much about any of them. Oh, you survived. Well, that's nice. I kind of don't care. I have a shortcut to open. I'll get back to you afterwards. Are you still coming? Eh, yeah, one of you is. Okay, now where were we? Oh, yeah, right. I was going to try to kill you. No, no, I'll let you come up. Don't worry. It's fine. I'm a nice guy. Well, okay, actually, that's not true. The character is female. I lied. Ah! I mean, I guess I could just break their guard that way. That works, too. Alright, let's see if I can get the parrying on this. Ow! Nope, bad move. In fact, this is such a bad move, I'm just gonna completely run away. See us. I've got a bonfire to attend to. And not die, hopefully. Yeah. Must get fight. Oh, come on. Seriously? 
Oh, darn it. I don't have the life to w risk this. Oh, wait, no. I do! Aha! Seriously? It's just down the steps, isn't it? No? Well, then why can't... Ah, there we go. Okay, perfect. I can light a bonfire! I can make fire! I can get my Estus back! I'm trying to remember where I get the first Estus shard. It's in here somewhere, but I don't remember exactly where. Ooh, Titanite shard. Actually, you know what? I can upgrade things! Because I have two of these. Three of these, actually. Oh, could've... really? I could have upgraded sooner? Well, okay, I will upgrade stuff, and then we'll go back to killing that knight. Okay, now the blade here. It's been upgraded slightly. It is a better weapon. Which is good, because I want to kill some things. Like that knight, and the mimic afterwards. Which I can't remember what's in it, actually. It's something. Okay, so... Let's see if I can get some parries off on this knight. Yo, knight! Get spelled! Ow! That's not parryable. That is parryable, but I didn't do it right. Ah! Ow! Okay. That's not good. That's really not good. <sighs> hmm. I'm starting to rethink my exact weapon arrangement. I could probably beat it with the two blades, but... Yeah, going with the parries, I'm not sure. Ow. Okay. Ah! Whoa! That almost killed you! Ah! Shoot! Don't hit me! Oh, great. You got friends. That's just perfect. Ow! Oh, this is so hard when I don't have any way of kicking! I can't break shields and this weapon sucks parrying! I don't know how to deal with this. I really don't know how to deal with this. Crap, maybe I'll just avoid the knight. I'm surprised this is so hard. Actually, I guess it doesn't surprise me. I was trying to fight three at once. That is hard. That's legit difficult, so, yeah. Shouldn't beat myself up about it too much. Okay. Kill you. Ha! So, I want my souls back. I might just be able to avoid the night entirely. Yeah, let's do that. Or not. Ow. Ah! Whoops! Oh, good. Broke my fall. Gah! Get knifed! Aha! Uh -huh. Oh. Get more shields. Get knife! Ow. I'm not really confident enough of my pairing ability to try on the- oh, nice crossbow. To try killing it right away. However, I am confident enough to go after this thing. Even though it's gonna try to eat me. Oh no, really? That's usually his first attack, is the going for trying to eat me thing. That one. Which I've learned the hard way to avoid. Also, it- there's a- the hardest enemy- ow! In Bloodborne has the exact same attack. I mean, it doesn't try to eat you. Actually, wait, it does try to eat you, come to think of it. The Winter Lanterns. Yeah, they just chew on you, but they've got, like, a dozen mouths. It, like, imagine a coral underneath a giant brain with eyes on top of the body of a woman. Yeah, it's pretty weird. Also, what did I just get out of that? I... What did I just get out of that? 
It wasn't the Ember. Ah, it was the Deep Battle Axe, which I forgot that's what it is. I just wanted to kill the Mimic for the sake of killing it. You know, just to say I did. Alright, let's see if I can deal with you. Come on. You hard enough? Come at me! Come at me! Come at me! I said come at me. Ow! Okay. You came at me. <sighs> what? Come on. Get this. Just... <sighs> Shoot. It's always later early. It's just... Okay, I... I give up. I'm gonna wait until I get the Cestus or Parrying Dagger. Those are good parrying weapons. Curved Swords are not good parrying weapons. So for the time being, I'm just gonna switch around things. And... Alright, there there we go. Because I'm... I'm just not gonna bother trying to parry with this thing. It's... It's wasting time. And Estus. Both of which... Well, time isn't so much precious because... Editing. Estus is precious because... I need that to live. I'd rather not die. Nothing happens if I die. It's not even that bad things happen, it's that literally nothing happens. Because if I'm dead, there's no game. Actually, come to think of it, I've got a lot of souls. Yeah, I might as well just level up. Now I have two attunement slots. Marvel! As I'm able to switch my spells! Or at least switch which one's active. So, and this guy again, who's a bit of a pain, but not too bad. You're dead. Thank you. Goodbye. Do not send a postcard. And this other guy who is also dead. Yes. And I'm not going to go down there yet. Grey Rat's down there. I'll, I'll get it when I get him. There's, there's a tower cell key I can get later on. Yes, I have played through this section very recently. Like I said, I wanted to know, you know, how this would feel, you know? I, I didn't really get Dark Souls 3 the first time I played it, but, yeah, I just wanted to see how it would feel if I were to go for a different playstyle. And, yeah, went through the high wall of Lothric. Drop and die! I guess it's not quite as dramatic as Stand and Deliver. But it's also more honest. Ah! You let your guard down, you fool! Also, these guys give Titanite shards. Sometimes. They sometimes give Titanite shards. I should probably specify. Also, I don't need this. And actually... There we go. They sometimes give Titanite shards. That specificity is useful and important. And there's the other Pussy Man, dude, and I have a bunch of firebombs. You explode! Ow. Not what I wanted to do. Thankfully, I've got... I have 19 and 18... 17 of these! Ow. 15 of these. And you'll get disabled the next one. There we go. Okay, perfect. Ah-ha! 400 souls well spent. Anyway. Where's the Titanite Lizard? There you are. I swear, after about... I'd say... I'd say after we get into the undead settlement, maybe a little after that, definitely the Road of Sacrifices, I'll stop calling my shots as I'm going forward. But hey, if you like that stuff, then you'll be really happy about the next area. Because I'm going to be calling all my shots. Except I don't remember what all the pre-made messages say. I don't know if that's pre-made, actually. Alright, so crossbow dudes down there. They're gonna be a pain in the butt. But I need them dead before I go after the knight in the other room, and you are dead? Dead, yes. Fall and die, and you won't die. Actually, now that I think about it, that one survives a fall. That one's not in a position where it's gonna die if I drop it. It should be climbing up the ladder now. Oh. Oh, it did die. Oh, good. Okay. Last time I tried that, it actually survived the fall. I know it sounds weird, because you'd think it wouldn't, given the circumstances, but it did. 
it did in fact survive dropping there. That would kill me. Mind you, I only have 400 or 500 HP, but that would still kill me. So, if I think about this, I have my flask, I have my firebombs, should I need them? I have a spear-willing knight that I can either go through or I can drop down here, which is a tough call, let's be honest. Well, I need Selkie and Yesta Shard. So first off, deal with the guy over here who's going to scream and wake everyone up. And then you, and the dude in the other room. Because there's a dude in the other room to my right. Hi, dude in the other room to my right. Goodbye, dude in the other room to my right. You had a run. I will be nice and not preface that with an adjective. And... Then there's you, who would have been woken up by the guy who screams. Gonna, ooh, nice. Okay, Undead Hunter Charm is always nice. I'm not going to equip it right now, since I don't think there's anything that would use it. It's useful if someone invades, but I don't think there's anyone who uses S. Actually, I guess these guys do. Ow. Ah. And that's why I wanted to get to the crossbow guy, because I didn't want to have to deal with both at once, because it's a pain in that... Ow. Pain in the butt to have to do both. Aha! I'm going to enjoy getting the sublime bone dust. I'm feeling like my Estus is a little bit weak. For those of you not aware, sublime bone dust... It's not sublime bone dust. It's... That's Dark Souls 2. I keep calling it that. It's, like, undead ashes or something like that. But yeah, get those, get better Estus. Although, hey, Estus came back. Because that's the thing this game does. I keep forgetting. And that's a cool thing the game does. Alright, let's go through the secret path, get some stuff. Get a better vantage point to deal with some of the things. Like the dogs. There's dogs down there. I mentioned before how dogs are not really something you want to fight. Ever. In any context, really. Just don't. Like, seriously, don't. Okay, if I recall correctly, there's... I'm trying to remember if there's a treasure chest down here. Well, you know what? Worst case scenario, we'll find it the hard way. And there is! And it's a real one! And it's an Astora Straight Sword, which is the one type of weapon I'm not really planning on using since I used them last time. Although I say pl not planning on, but we'll see. Let's not limit myself too much. Hey, it's a dog! Hey, it's an arrow on your back! Hey, it's an arrow on your head because you spent time barking and not killing me! You foolish dog! Okay, I don't really want to drop down there because the mix of the halberdier, not a good mix. I don't really have much choice though. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, right, there's firebomb throwers. Hang on. Need to get up here so the firebombers don't get me as easily. Oh, yes! Thank you, firebombers! You may not realize it, but you are my friends! In a very roundabout kind of way. Okay. Where'd they go? Also, for that matter, why didn't I spot them earlier? I'm trying to remember where they are. Oh, wait a sec. I know what I did. I think I know what I did. Where did the fire bombers come from? Oh, I think it's that guy who dropped down, come to think of it. Because normally, not oh, normally, if you didn't realize it was a secret path, you'd go down the staircase I just went down, but that's the only place I could go. Yeah, look through the fire bomber, just dropped down. The guy's wielding the sword. The guy wielding that their straight sword. That's our fire bomber. Bam! Bam! At home, sucker! All right. It does, actually. I really like that part of the... about sorceries. They home. And now to get the key to get Grey Rat. And now I can get Grey Rat. Eventually I'll go and get Grey Rat. Have I mentioned I'm going to get Grey Rat? Okay, there's nothing here. There is an axe-wielding dude. There's also a giant knight that does stuff. Okay, this guy's not really a threat as long as I forget... That I'm not in two-handed mode. Now I kill you. Yeah. Ha. Ha. 
Hang on. Thank you for hanging on. I appreciate your courtesy. So... Did I get this before? Well, no matter. Titanite shards! Always good. Really? You jerk. Actually, I don't remember if there are any hidden paths in this area. I don't think there are. Like, illusory wall paths, I mean. I don't recall any in High Wall of Lothric. But, honestly, the last couple times I was through here, I wasn't particularly thorough. So I might have missed some. And there's the dude with the Winged Knight. Who is scary. Like, legit scary. I don't know how I'd be able to deal with him right now. Actually, what I could do... Okay, so... What I'm thinking is, if I go down the hallway across there, I can go back up and then go back to the bonfire I came from and basically deal with that. Actually, I could go down and get Grey Rat and then come back up and take the bonfire. If I go through there, I can... Actually, what I could do... Is put this guy in a position where he's gonna... Yo! I got an arrow in his knee. I made a seven-year-old joke accidentally. Yeah. All right. Get hit by sorcery. Perfect. Oh, shoot. I was hoping I'd get him a bit more convincing. Ah! I'm sorry, Halberd here. I meant to kill you. Sorry I caused pain rather than ending you painlessly. But hopefully, hopefully the eventual suit release of death will be compensation enough for you. I'll take your silence as a yes. Or at least that I've been forgiven. But yeah, if I go down here, then I could go and get up to where I was getting the bonfire before. But quite frankly, I don't want to go through there, except to free Grey Rat. Which is a little risky given the amount of SS I have, because I have to go through a couple more, or one more assassin dude and a halberdier. But opening up the shortcut is also kind of risky. Like, the problem with the shortcut is there's a bunch of guys that'll come at me if I go that way. No, I'll risk it this way, because if I need to, there's a really quick path involving jumping over some rooftops to get back here. So I'm just going to go back up, get that, get Grey Rat, because then I get a bunch of cool stuff to deal with. Mostly more expensive arrows, but quite frankly, I've been spending quite a bit of my money on arrows anyway. Or souls, rather, because that's just how I do. That's actually a habit I learned from Bloodborne, because in Bloodborne, your healing items are... Wait a sec. Ladder's up here. Your healing items are actually limited. You only have so many. You purchase them or you find them off of enemies. And you want to get as many as you can, because in the harder boss fights, it comes up. Like, you actually start to run out. Which you don't want to do, obviously. So, I got in the habit in my last playthrough of just buying blood vials when I needed them. And bullets as well. Like, buying both whenever I had some extra echoes, just to have them. Just to have the extra spares. And that was really smart. Like, that was a really good idea. Granted, Dark Souls is not quite the same way, because your Estus just is your Estus. It's yours. You get to keep it. You get to bring it home and give it a nice little, nice little home. Give it its own room. I mean, you gotta clean it, though, too. Make sure you empty out its litter box. But yeah, your SS is yours. You can do whatever you want with it. Which actually is more freeing than what I'm referencing. But it is still all yours. You get as much SS as you want whenever you... Or as much SS as you prepared whenever you go to a bonfire. So, not as necessary, but still kind of a thing. So, in lieu of that, I'm just buying, like, firebombs and... Okay, hang on. Buying firebombs and arrows and a couple of the utility items like that because those are really useful so I might as well just hold on to them and have as many as I can rather than running out and feeling embarrassed so I don't mind having more expensive arrows besides it's like 10 souls each one nice thing about using a bow instead of a crossbow as I used in the last playthrough is that crossbow bolts are really expensive like crossbow bolts run twice as expensive as arrows at minimum and go way more expensive than that. And hey, it's Grey Rat, our old friend. Who I'm gonna do what I can to actually not have die as early this time. Ah. You're no jailer, are you? No, no, you're from far away. 
I guess to be a jailer. Judging by the bell, you must be some of that unkindled ash. Remarkable. If that's true, bell? then I have a favor to ask. Bell. Below the high wall is a musty little town. Not the home of any lord, just a, a very old settlement of undead. An old woman, Loretta, lives there. Please, give her this ring. I, I, I'm not asking for charity. In, fa in fact, if you do this for me, I'll be sure to repay you in kind. I, I may be a petty thief, but I've more wits than most royalty. Not saying much. What do you say then? Huh? Eh, sure, why not? Very well. I humbly place my faith in you. I am Grey Rat of the Undead Settlement, and I promise to assist you. Give this ring to old Loretta at the base of the high wall. Do your part, and I'll do mine. I mean, not even a comment on real-life royalty, which has known genetic issues just due to the fact that royalty tends to inbreed, but this world's royalty, like, I'm having to clean up their mess. So, yeah, this royalty is pretty witless as far as I'm concerned. Like, the Lothric royalty, I should say. There's not much redeeming about them. This is later. I don't remember where I actually get the key for this one. I want to say somewhere in the cathedral, but I honestly have no idea. And for those of you who haven't seen Dark Souls yet, don't worry, that's an area from later. So that's that, and I still have my Estes, right? I do! Perfect. Now I can go open another shortcut, and then talk to Grey Rat later, because he'll have stuff to sell me. Oh, right, now I've got a ring, too, actually, for that matter. The only ring I have, but it's still good. So... Considering the circumstances, I could just jump down there, actually. I don't remember how you do this. Actually, no, I'm not going to bother. There's a ladder. Everyone's dead. So yeah, this is the shortcut, and then after that, the boss fight is right up ahead. This is actually going really well. Not sure how long the boss fight's going to take me, but so far, this has been quite productive. Granted, I'm probably going to get myself killed after saying that. Like, gotta deal with that axe-wielding dude in the... Ow! Okay, good. And then there's a bunch of people that are going to chase after me when I get to the next area. And then there's going to be the... What's the other thing that's going to happen? Oh, yeah, right. There's going to be the halberdier and the dogs. I don't know if they started moving yet, though, but they do exist. Ye ah, made it. And ring of sacrifice. You know, that might not be a bad idea considering the circumstances. Like, I have no Estus. I have a lot of souls. I don't really care about Rings of Sacrifice. I've never actually used them before. But you know what? Nope. I don't know why I keep believing those people. But you know what? Let's just... Let's just do that. Like, be careful. Probably it'll end up breaking at some point and no one even notice, and then I'll go, Oh yeah, right, I had the Ring of Sacrifice and I had no souls in my inventory, I didn't care. But for now, I do care. And green blossoms... And there's you... Takes an arrow to the chest. Which is... Definitely... A pain. Okay, I don't want to do this. Hmm... Okay, these guys are easy, but you have to be mindful of the fact that there's many of them, and then kill them all. Okay, cool. So now they're dead, and now to get to the hard part. Although it's also the shortcut opening part, which is a nice part. Okay, if I go here, how many... I have 16... Okay, has one level. See, the problem here is that getting through this shortcut is kind of annoying, because the guy with the axe is going to chase after me. Oh wait, I've killed your kind before, no problem. I killed one of you back to where I got the Estus Flask. Why was I scared of you in the first place? Running past them, sure. Running past them is ill-advised, but fighting them head-on when I've got 
two swords, and I can use them simultaneously, making them twice as effective. So, like, quadruple swords? Yeah, that's good stuff. Alright, let's get the dogs up here so I can deal with them, and then I will do all the level up shenanigans. And catch up back at the base of the wall, and... No. Bad dog, lie down, play dead. Alright, cool. So I'll be back in a sec. Alright, we're back at the base of the high wall. Bringing that back up for insurance purposes. And... then there's you. Oops. Well, I guess I can do that too. Die! With magic! And... the rest of these guys. I mean, there is still one more ow challenge before dealing with the boss of the area. And that is, of course, those knights that are always a pain in the butt. Nope. Yeah! Ha ha! Get a knife to the chest! Or gut, actually, come to think of it. Get a knife to the gut! And enjoy it! I hope it was as much fun for you as it was for me. Yeah, I've switched to ra rapiers have a slightly better... Okay, actually, rapiers are... In terms of the number of frames, they are... 33% better than curved swords. Only 33% though, which was like 30% of 33% of bad. Like instead of being a hundred one one hundredth of a second, it's ow. I'm gonna try. Okay, I'm wasting my Estus. Ow. Actually, you know what? I'm being silly because I have an ow rapier. You know what rapiers can do? They can- ow! Or am I thinking of Estoc? No, I'm thinking of Estoc. Shit! I'm bringing the wrong weapon! I thought it was like... Ow. Well, I guess I have that, but it's not quite the same. Doesn't break shields. I'm in a really bad spot. This is impossible to deal with. Not really? That's... Parryable enough that it actually counts as partial? Well, that's nice, but worthless. Okay. <sighs> Rapiers are really so good at parrying. The problem, really, with those ones is that they actually parry way later than... Like, the pair, like, it takes, like, a quarter of a second before they even come in. So, I really need to know the monster abilities. Oh, yeah, right! The Ring of Sacrifice. It's no longer available. Yeah, it, it's gone. It's totally gone. That I, I knew that was going to happen. I just knew, I was like, I'm gonna forget I put that there for that one instance where I needed to have the Ring of Sacrifice for reasons. Oh, they're gonna rash me. Come on. Alright, fine. Then I'll cut you. Granted, I did put the elevator up for insurance purposes, and I'm glad I did. But yeah, the Ring of Sacrifice. I hardly knew ye. But then I hardly used ye, and I'd say it kind of works out. I get to keep 128 souls and not lose them when I instead could have lost them. Ah, no, I'm not going to stick around for that. I have enough things to fight with those knights up ahead. And in case you're wondering, no, I can't do the kick with either of the weapons currently in my possession. Neither thrusting swords nor curved swords do the kick. Curved swords do this, and thrusting swords do this. Neither of them break shields. And I forgot, th there's a different weapon that's like the rapier called the S-Dock that does pierce shields. Like, just breaks through guard completely. Actually, what am I thinking? I have magic. I can... I can make the staircases glow blue. How do you like that, huh? I make you glow... blue-ish. Uh-huh. Well, that's no good. Uh, seriously? I thought I'd be able to... Man, this is annoying. Dealing with spear guys without having ability to break guard. 
At least not without this sort of shenanigans. Is not easy. Gotta say. The other one's a lot easier, though. The other one's just shoot it till it dies. Or actually, yes, swing it till it dies. Yeah! Ha! Or parry things successfully! Ye yeah! Oh yeah, I forgot about the strong attacks of these swords. I can do a cool little flip. I like that. That's super cool. I keep forgetting I can do that. I actually keep forgetting I can do strong attacks. It doesn't help that I had that in my left hand for most of this run thus far. Anyway. Hi, Emma. How's it going? Ah. The wait has been long, unkindled one. That makes one of us. I am Emma, High Priestess of Lothric Castle. Allow me to speak frankly. You will not find the Lords of Cinder here. They have left, gone, to their journey homes converging at the base of this castle. Head to the bottom of the high wall, forge on through the great gate, and raise this banner to proceed. I'm looking up because I'm tempted to just get with the dancer fight, but I don't think I can do the dancer fight yet. And actually, come to think of it, I can't use the dancer weapon either, so I'll let you live for now. For now. Actually, come to think of it, there are some other enemies to fight that are, well, there's the red-eyed knight here that's not easy by any stretch. But, if I pull it off, I get a boatload of... Oh, actually, yeah. Oh, well. It's happening whether I like it or not. Ow. Alright. Ah! Oh, yeah, right, you deal with loads of damage. I forgot! I forgot you're gonna kill me! I'm dead. You know, we'll just... We'll just leave those 790... Er, 768 souls. Just... The, the blue guy can, can have them for now. I'm, I'm not gonna worry about them too much. They're, they're theirs. It's like, you know, just... Yeah. I don't really care. I want to get the bus. I don't want to worry about it too much. Axe dude? Well, Axe dude missed me. Goodbye, Axe dude. Unless they drop down here, which they might. That's a thing the Axe dudes are known for doing. Not that it would do them any good, but... This happened. Ah, oh, seriously... I thought I could avoid that. Ah! Man, I'm getting overconfident. Come on! Have it you! Overconfident, but not necessarily incompetent. There's a difference. And now you die. And now you die with cool swingy things! And there we go. Now you're dead. And now for the way that's safer. Gets me through without... Getting myself killed. Because the boss is this way. Unless I want to fight the dancers, which I don't right now. And I don't need to fight you, and I have the... Actually, is there something over here? I can't remember. That's part of my... I can't remember I got a bit lazy in this part of the level. Really? That still counts as blocking? Wow. Okay. Well, that doesn't. Eat backstab! That's your free backstab for the day. So, with that backstab taken care of, we now have a giant cold dog to fight with armor. And portals, now that I remember actually come to think of it. The dancer does this too. There's this weird portal thing that is walk through. It's like teleporting in from the Boreal Valley. Which actually isn't really established as a thing. But yeah, I just realized that is what's happening. Now I kind of wonder why. Is that like an Aldrich thing? I mean, I get teleported in later. But. Yeah. Now I'm trying to think what Emma has to do with this. Sorry, it's gonna, it'll be obvious later unless you watch the previous Let's Play, but, or know how Dark Souls goes, or Dark Souls 3 goes. But, basically, I'm gonna be dealing with, ow. Seriously? That's a new one. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, just need you to not hit me. Because you have a giant hitbox. Ow. Come on. There we go. Okay, good. Now I've got in. I've got in. And you should start screaming. There it is. Ow. Crap, I didn't myself over to escape. Thankfully, I put myself in a great position to start doing this. But now I'm stuck. Oh, hey. Maybe not. Wall. I think I made my opinion on walls in the last Let's Play clear. Although, I, I'm actually doing this in the assumption that no one's seen that. But I don't like walls in this game. It wasn't clearly a very major problem. But, for the record, I'm not a big fan of walls in this game. Granted, everyone's voiced their complaints about walls in Dark Souls. Like, or in Souls games. It's just a thing. It's kind of a silly thing. Like, the entire reason why is just because when you're... Like, okay, the camera sometimes goes like that. Like, it'll go close to your character, which is fine. Nothing really wrong with that. But if I go over here, for instance, now there's a branch in the way. Or a bunch of branches in the way. And the Souls games are kind of unique in that they don't make this object transparent. Like, seriously, go check out any other action game. And you'll notice that they'll make objects that are between the camera and the player character transparent. That's like the one thing I've seen other action, other character action games do that is probably the reason why people go on about Dark Souls having a terrible camera system. Like, it has a very raw camera system. And that is definitely problematic in some cases. Like, it does cause issues, especially when you are dealing with walls. But the issue, I'd say, is more just that objects get in the way between the player character and the camera. And you can't see through them. That's really the only thing I can think of that Dark Souls and Bloodborne don't do. There's a few other minor things. Like, the fact is that, like I said, the cameras are quite raw, and one of the big things about that is you are in complete control of the camera. Or nearly complete control. You aren't actually in complete control. If I start moving sideways, for instance, the camera will try to track the back of my character. It'll do so slowly, but it will try. Wow, there's nowhere near as many mountain maker signs as there used to be. I mean, last year when I, like, like, last time I dropped into here a year ago, there were loads of Mountain Maker signs when I first got here. Because people aren't really playing this game as much. Or rather, probably people are just going through and finding where it's really important to place down signs. Yeah, thanks. I noticed. Man, this is weird. Like, yeah, I guess when I played it last time through, it was when the game had just released. Although, that being said... No, that's the bonfire. Wow. That seems thematically appropriate, to be honest. So yeah, with the camera, though, like, you're in fairly complete control of the camera. It will try to track the back of your character if you're moving in a direction that's not forward. But, yeah, otherwise you're largely doing whatever you want to do with it. It just either gets hit by walls and jumps forward weirdly or stuff gets in between and blocks view. And I think both would be solved by having semi-transparent objects in between you and the player. Or sorry, in between you and the character. But it's a tiny little thing and that is also going to be it for this episode. Like We got through Lothric really fast actually. I'm trying to remember if I missed anything but thinking through it no, I don't think I missed anything I can get at this point other than an endgame boss fight. Spoilers! Lothric, the High Wall of Lothric has two boss fights. But I think I already spoiled that. Oh hey, it's a Sunbro sign. Well, that's nice of them. Anyhow, that's gonna be it for this, so thanks for watching, everyone, and see you in the next one. Until then, enjoy stuff. <laughs>